Good morning, happy Tuesday. Uh, today I have two readings that kind of connect. One is who do you want to be in the world? Who do you want to be in this world? Ask yourself this question first thing in the morning and as you move through your day. Letting our answer direct and support your actions. Do you want to be kind and patient? Let kindness and patience inform your interactions with others, even the most challenging people. Do you want to be courageous? Let courage override your fear regardless of the situation. Do you want to be a good listener? Then pause, soften, and open to what others are saying. Asking yourself this question is like making a promise to be your best self. And it kind of reminds me of in the world of healthy eating and living, we always say to ourselves, what I'm eating, will it increase my life or decrease my life? I like that, lengthen or shorten my life. And then the reading I wanted to do today is live with hope, not expectation. We hope for certain events and outcomes in our lives, but we cannot control whether they happen. When we begin to expect certain outcomes, we set ourselves up for frustration and disappointment. Hope is important in that it inspires us, making us engage and invest in our lives. When we live with hope, the future opens up because hope offers possibility. <clears throat> When we live with expectation, the future closes down because expectation offers either access, sorry, success or failure. So it's kind of a black and white uh, result. Look at the goals today, noting whether they are hopes and dreams you are working for or simply expectations. See if you can release the expectations and instead enjoy the sense of possibility. I like that. So today I wanted to pull out the healthy back deck. And let's just see. Oh, the first one we got is the arms that we would do for cow face. We'll definitely do that. Then let's see. Um, swimmer, not swimmer. Yeah, a variation of swimmer. We haven't done swimmer in a while, but it's doing one limb at a time. That would be our floor work. Child's pose, that's a given. Let's see. Plank. Let's do plank to dog, plank to dog. I like doing that. It's a nice transition. It's really good for strengthening the shoulders. Um, oh, bridge. We'll do some bridges. Supported and not supported. Um, oh, seated. We're good at that. Mm, a bunch of leg raises. We're going to do some legs up the wall. Oh, and I like this spinal twist. So we often do this using our hands. In this case, we're doing it letting the core and the back muscles do the work which leads us to double leg spinal twist. So this back and forth variation and, oh, oh, I love this wall stretch. This is what is recommended for plantar fasciitis. Okay, we're gonna come to the mat. We'll do our regular floor therapeutics as a way to begin the day. Bringing your head all the way down. I'm gonna keep it to my chin first. Waiting for the back spine to be fully open and heavy, and then arms by my side. I'm going to start with soft 45. Press your feet into the floor. They're about one fist width apart. Roll the shoulders up to the sky, and then gently open them back down. Quite often, the belly of the diaphragm pops up, so you want to engage that and bring it down. And just start to listen to the breathing. Is it hard to get a deep breath? Maybe you ran to get to your class. You are rushing around. Can you take that control and slow it down? Tailbone presses down, soles of the feet press down. And we're gonna take five breaths here, silently counting in your head. Big full inhale, hold, big full exhale, hold. very slowly heel toe your feet nice and wide let your knees flop a little to the left 
And we're checking what's happening in the right thigh and hip. Back to center. And then we're going to take it to the other side of what's happening in the left thigh and hip. Slowly back and forth. Coming back to center, bring those legs together. <clears throat> Thighs to chest, no hands. And you can bring your arms into cactus. If this is too tight, the shoulders, you can bring them back to your belly or the floor. And we're going to use the back muscles and the belly muscles. Flex the feet and I'm pressing the thighs into each other, engaging the core, twisting to the left, but not coming to the floor. And you want to keep that right shoulder down. Back to center. Twist to the right. Center. Twist to the left. I think of uh, Liz and Paul with this one. They love core. Center to the right. Center to the left. Going a little deeper, but keeping the right shoulder down. Center, right, center. I'm gonna come back to the left, but allow your knees to come to the floor. Double leg spine twist this time. Back to center. And this time we're gonna take our knees to the floor on the right. Left shoulder comes to the matting cactus. Double leg spinal twist. Back to center, little boat. <clears throat> right leg in, left foot's gonna flex and lower all the way down. Drawing that right thigh in, feel what's happening in the hips. And our thighs gently pressing into the elimination organs. Two more breaths in single leg when you're leaving pose. And finally, left hand takes right knee over, single leg, spinal twist. I'm oh, sorry, my hair, my hair goes. Center, little boat. Left leg in, right leg slides straight, flex. And you're drawing that left thigh in. Right hand takes left knee over, single leg spinal twist, keeping that left shoulder down wherever the arm goes. Center, little bow. I'm going to drop the feet to the mat. We're going to take one block under your hips in a supported bridge, and we'll take three breaths here. Palms are up and your arms are pretty close to your uh, hips. So you can choose to stay in supported bridge. It's very relaxing and grounding. Or I'm gonna take right leg in, left leg extends. Option to stay here or lift that leg one or two inches and just let it dangle. And I don't have the foot flex. Oh, that feels good, bringing it side to side. One more breath. Gravity stretching that left hip for you. Full feet to the mat and switch. Left leg in, right leg extends, heel's gonna stay down. Option to lift that heel one or two inches and let the leg dangle. And switch. We're going to drop the feet, grabbing the second block, squeezing the inner thighs together, glutes engage, lift the hips, and bringing that second block. So now I'm in a higher supported bridge. I like to roll my shoulders back, opening the chest. Chin slightly to the ceiling. We're going to take five breaths here. We've got the same beautiful opening as if you muscled your way into it, but there's no tension on the body. Five breaths in your head.
Right leg in, left leg extends, pause. And you're drawing the right thigh in as the left leg extends, left heel's touching, feet are softly pointed, they're relaxed. Option to stay here or lift that foot an inch or two and let it dangle. And both feet to the mat, switch. Left leg in, right leg extends, and keep the heel down initially. And when you're ready, if you want to go further, you're going to pick up that right leg and let it dangle. Sometimes I actually dangle it to increase what's happening in the right hip. Both feet to the mat, your choice. Staying five more breaths in supported bridge or slide the legs straight, arms can be to a T or behind you, making an arc. This is a beautiful opener for the front of the body, but it's a pretty intense um, back bend. So I'm gonna stay in supported bridge instead. Five breaths, inhale one. Exhale. Inhale two. Exhale. Inhale three. Exhale. Inhale four. Shoulders back, chest up. Exhale, we call it standing up in your chest. And final breath. Inhale five. Exhale, I'm gonna lift my bum enough to get rid of one block. You're coming down onto only one block on its lowest level. And we'll do five breaths with knees bent, ankles dangling. So it's a variation of legs up the wall. Inhale, one. Exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale. Inhale, three. Exhale, inhale four. Exhale and inhale five. I'm gonna extend my legs up and I want you to do five breaths here. You have a choice, soft legs, relaxed legs, flexed or wide. And I think we're actually gonna do all of them. So we're gonna start with soft, relaxed legs, two breaths. Inhale one. Exhale, inhale two. Exhale, flex. Belly slightly engaged, three breaths. Inhale, one. Exhale, inhale, two. Exhale, and last one, inhale, three. Exhale, legs wide. I'm gonna keep them flexed. Five breaths, inhale, one. Exhale, inhale, two. Exhale, inhale, three. Exhale, inhale four. Exhale, inhale five. Oh yeah. Exhale, close the legs, feet to the mat. Lift your bum just enough to get that block out. And we'll do a quick thread the needle or eye of the needle. Feet are on the mat, two fists width apart. Right foot flexes, bring that left thigh in while pressing right knee away. <laughs> so you can do this stationary or you can do a side to side. So you get a bit of a spinal twist in the lower half of the back. Uh, I think I'm gonna do this today. And shake it out, other side. Left foot flexes onto right knee, open. Oh. And then release the legs, knees to chest, little boat, and rolling to a ball on your side. Take a pause. Pressing all the way up. Nice work. Okay. 
One of the first ones that we want to do on here is this sum. Um, show to you. They're using a strap. We sometimes do this using no strap, a folded towel, maybe even somebody will use a pole. And this is the same arm configuration that we use when we're doing go mukasa. So I'm gonna take left arm up like I'm answering a question, palm facing forward. And I'm gonna lift that shoulder up and down without moving anything else, up and down. And some of us have very loose shoulders and some of us this movement is not gonna happen. Oh, keep the elbows straight and release. Whoo! Right arm up, palm faces forward. Up, and actually I could make it face in, that's probably more biomechanically correct. Reach up, bring it back down. Reach up, bring it back down. Reach up, bring it back down, and release. Now we are going to do it this direction. So left hand forward, almost like I'm shaking your hand. Shoulders stay squared off, pull the shoulder back, and reach as far forward as you can without moving the whole body. Forward back, forward, back, and I'll show you from the side, forward, back, forward, back, almost like a locomotion running on a track and trying to keep everything locked and release. Now I'm going to do the other side, right arm forward, flex, pull it back, forward without moving the torso, back, forward, back, forward, back. How does that feel? I'll show you from this side, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Nice. Now I want to work at keeping opening this space so that I'm able to do the pose we were just talking about. Arms to a T, flex, and gently pull as far back as your body allows. I always pretend there's a telephone pole behind me and then I'm wrapping my body around and back to center. Close the hands, press those fingers into each other. Oh, I can feel all the muscles in my back. Open, 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 open. What's your range of motion? Center. Open. Center. Press those palms into each other. So can you reach without judging your body? Oh my, and then pull them back. Reach, and the movement is much smaller than we did earlier. Reach. Pull them back, reach, pull them back, reach, pull them back, one more time, engage the core, reach, pull them back, and oh my gosh, not all of us can do that, awesome. We're gonna do one more range of motion for the shoulders because ultimately that will help our back mobility. I'm um, gonna come into cactus, bringing the hands up to form the triangle above your head without looking. Cactus, side body, without pushing the chest or face out. Cactus, triangle. Cactus, side body. Cactus, fingers are flexed. Triangle. Tri cactus, side body. Now can I do it straight arm? Reach up, form the triangle, open, floor. T, Triangle, T, floor. Whew. We'll do switch out our legs and we'll do one more thing in helping the shoulders. So I'm going to drop left ear, left shoulder, center. Right ear, right shoulder, center. Left ear, left shoulder, maybe even take your hand to the floor. So there's this beautiful stretch from right ear all the way on diagonally to the left hand. Center, right hand to the floor right ear to right shoulder, center. Now you can start to stretch it a little while, walk the fingers away, center. Walk the fingers away, center. Chin to chest, up. Ear, so left ear, left shoulder, chin to chest, up. Right ear, right shoulder, center, and relax. Left hands up like you're answering a question and you're going to bend it and try to touch the base of your skull. And I'm gently pushing that elbow away from me. So chest stays forward, elbow, this is shoulder mobility. If this is not available to you, maybe you are moving it this direction. Oh. 
<clears throat> back to center release. La right hand answers the question, touches the base of the skull, elbow pulls back without moving the torso. Elbow pulls back, release. Elbows pulls back, release. <laughs> now we're gonna do the left side again. Left hand up. Now I'm trying to touch between my shoulder blades. I'm probably not gonna reach, but that's where my fingers are walking. Right hand's gonna help that. Sitting up nice and straight, head stacked. Right hand can come behind you and either back of the hand rests on the lower back or you're attempting to bind like in Gomukasa cow face. I like to just press the back of my hands on there. And release. Oh. Switch your legs again. Right hand answers the question, touches the base of the skull, then walk the hand between the shoulder blades. Left hand's gonna help this happen. Right, left hand back of the left hand to the back of your back, and I'm gonna press those elbows away, opening the heart and the shoulders. And release. Switch your legs again. And you know what, we're not even gonna to get to those plank dog because I think that's too much rigorous action for what I'm enjoying. Okay, now we're gonna do our um, eagle arms. Spread the hands, bring the palms together. Pressing into each other, keeping them at shoulder height. Slowly open. Oh yeah, pressing against that imaginary pole again. Together. Open. Together. Open. And then this time, left hand forward, right arm inside. So right on top of left. Option to go up and down a couple times. Yana will like this class. It was intended to be a back class and it's becoming a shoulder class. And switch. Other side. Scrub hands. Left into right. Bind or I'm doing this. Up and down. And release. Nice. Okay. We're gonna do one more thing for our shoulders. You take your hands, heat them up, and then I want you to grab handfuls of flesh of the shoulders. Hand grab a handful and release. Handful and release. Handful and release. And I'm kind of pinching all the way up the neck towards the base of the skull. <sighs> nice. Okay. Let's do a couple more things that are for shoulders, neck, back. So I'm gonna take left leg out, right leg in. Left hand is on left leg, right arm reach up, just like we did earlier. And I'm going to lift that shoulder up and down a few times. And then start to lengthen the side body. Totally your choice how deep you go. I love this stretch. If I want to add a bit more upper back opening, I'm going to bring that right shoulder back and look at the ceiling. And right hand release, left arm up. Right arm's gonna bend a little. Stretch. Oh, it's beautiful. Maybe arc or maybe lift up and do the Pete Townsend arm. Oh, and come back down. Nice work. Right leg out, left leg in. Right hand, right leg, left hand up, reach up. Diagonal or curve. Right, left shoulder back, oh, look at the ceiling. Left hand down, bending at the elbow, right arm up. Reach, reach, reach. Arc or straight. Nice deep stretch on the right side. Your choice, staying here or coming into the Pete Townsend. One direction, then the other. Nice. Let's come into the few versions of uh, Marici's pose. Uh, Marici was a very wise sage, and there's three different variations. <clears throat> Legs are straight. I'm going to take a right leg over left. Doesn't have to go very far. Left hand's going to take right knee and twist. Shoulder and chest open to the right side. Counter, counter twist. 
might start with the left hand beside you and slowly walk it back depending on your shoulder girdle mobility. And then finally looking over the left shoulder, we're bringing out the belly. Center. Other side, right leg extends, left leg over. I'm gonna twist to the right first. Center and counter twist. Center and release. Last version. You can either bring the foot really high up on the thigh or you can bend both legs. Left arms, or sorry, right arm's gonna come over left leg, twist, counter twist, center, switch, right leg down, twist, and twist, oh that's awesome. How does your back feel? So, let me put this in here. Um, this is a deck that I'm sure you can get on Amazon. I think I got it at Goodwill, but I have a yoga one of this series. Uh, it's at Indigo Chapters. Today we're reading from Life Loves You. I like these short, sweet, often very moving and simple uh, quotes. These are from Louise Hay, and I'm constantly talking about if you like using decks, you can get them from Hay House. Some of them are set up so that you would leave it like this and put one up to look at every day on your desk. And they also have, oh, an, a subscription on an app if you really would prefer just to not have paper. I still like paper. Oh, I love this. I am flourishing. Imagine your income expanding easily and effortlessly. Trust that all your material needs are being met by the universe. You could uh, substitute income for health, for happiness, for love, for shelter. Because I don't, normally this deck does not, does not usually focus on economical things. Thank you so much for your effort today. The good in me sees the good in you. The light in me sees the light in you. Namaste.